you have to make a decision in your head. If you want me to do Izzy, the chipmunk, doing something, raise your hand. Okay, if you want it to be a bat doing something, raise your hand. Bats. Finding it hard to escape bat gravity. <laughs> uh, okay, so I want to do a drawing of a bat doing something. This means we need a new idea of what this bat could be doing. So, what do you think the bat could do? The bat could be hanging in a cave. Bat hanging in a cave could be fun. What do you think the bat could do? Swimming in the water would be fun. In the very back, what do you think the bat should do? What, say that again? Bat going to the mall. What's it shopping for? I don't have blood sucking bats in my books. These are uh, these are uh, little brown bats. There are more than 1,200 kinds of bats in the world. Only two of them drink blood. So you're almost never going to run into a blood sucking bat. Yes. Bats at the candy store could be fun. Yes. Bat at a restaurant. Bat at a restaurant. What's it eating? Bat eating pizza at the restaurant. Good. What do you think? Okay, I've decided what I'm going to do. And if I didn't get to your idea, I apologize. We have so many people here that we can't hear everybody's ideas. Maybe you can do a drawing of the thing you imagined. What I have to do is get started sketching. And I'm going to grab a chair so I can sit down. I have a crayon, not a marker. How many of you have ever messed up a marker drawing? See, I don't like drawing with markers because it's very easy to make a mistake. What I'm going to do is sketch really, really lightly first. It's not going to look like anything. And then I'm going to go back and try to see if I can make it more, you know, more look like a real drawing. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is scribble. That's all it is so far, but what I'm doing is figuring out where things are going to be on the page. Now I can come back in and darken things up and add to it. So, what I'm going to do is work on her face. Yes. This is a she. Coloring in her eye. I'm coloring most of her eye except for the bottom and the very top. Fur at the edge of her nose. Well, you'll see, because it doesn't it make it look a little rowdy and shiny? If I colored it in completely, it would look a little bit flat. Some whiskers. It does look a little rabbity, a little mousy. And here's her outfit. She's got an outfit. One, two, three. Now, how many of you have ever taken a broken piece of crayon and peeled it and used the side for shading? It's a great way of filling in areas fast. I want it to look like she's got two ears. So what I'm going to do is simply color in a, set, a shape for the second ear. Does it look like it's farther away? A little shadowed a little bit? Uh, color in the inside of this ear. A little bit of shadow under her chin, like this. A little bit of shading for her outfit. Uh, Why does it look like a is her pizza. Now everybody knows that they've got really good pizza in New York. So she's visiting her uncles in New York. She's standing on top of a very famous torch. A torch is, is like a, uh, almost like, a, in England a torch is a flashlight, but it's basically she's got a sort of like a flame. I know what it is. It's like, I know. what is it? Um, it's, um, uh, it's like a lantern. Of liberty. Very close, yes. It's like a lantern. In this case, it is the, the Batu of Liberty. <laughs> The very last thing I'm going to do is to sign the drawing like that, and there it is. If I were doing this for a book, I would take my time. This is fast, isn't it? 
I don't draw this fast in real life. Uh, at home, I'm, I'm working very carefully and slowly trying to get something uh, the way I want it to be. But it's a good idea to get something on paper so you can say which parts of this you like and which parts you don't. That doesn't really look like much, does it? If I were going to draw this over again, I'd have her standing on something different, but I wouldn't know unless I had drawn like this that I wanted to change.